Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a Windows Seven theme transformation. On a side note, I'm hoping that the quality of this video is a bit better than the last video. I know in the last video, the uh, had a problem and it was glitching a bit, and I didn't notice it until it actually came on YouTube. So I'm gonna start with that. But I'm hoping this video has a bit better quality. Obviously, this is a Windows Seven video, and I do not have Windows Seven on my computer anymore. But I do have it on a virtual machine, and that is what I'm running on. So I'll quickly show you guys what I'm doing with it. I'm giving it two cores of, my, of the possible eight, I believe, on the i7 3930K, and I'm giving it eight gigs out of my possible 32 installed. Like I said, this is a oh, I mean, de developer's edition, so it doesn't have any activate all that kind of stuff like that. Anyways, you can go ahead and download the file in the description below. There's two different ones. You need to download one of them. One of them is for 32-bit computers, one is for 64-bit computers. To find out which one you need to download, just make open up your properties, which you can go ahead and start, right-click, and click Properties. I'll bring up this. Right next to System Type, it tells you exactly what you need. So out of the 64-bit or 32-bit. If it says 64, go below and download the 64 one. If it says 32, go below and download the 32 one. Once you download the one that's yours, um, you'll have one of these, and whatever one that you download, just open it up. It's a pretty simple, uh, and if this comes up, just click yes. It's a pretty simple uh, installation. We just go to the next couple times, and it's going to do everything for us. Just click next once, then go ahead and click I accept. Next again. I didn't check these because you don't want the toolbar. Next again and click install. So what it's going to do is it's going to patch our computer if you haven't patched it already. Then it's going to go ahead and install the things it needs. So you can see right here. This is everything from a rocky dock, which is the theme, wallpaper, um, boot screen, which I'm going to show you guys, and cursor, everything. So it's really cool. As you can tell, I'm going from a com completely plain old Windows 7 into this look. So now that it's done, we can click Next and click Reboot now. So it's going to shut down, and because this is a virtual machine, I can show you the boot up. So here we go, starting Android. You can see we have the copyright Google symbol below, and we have the Nexus turning on in the middle. Alright, so now we're on a login screen. You can tell we have the custom circle next to the welcome sign there. And we're approaching onto our desktop. So now you can tell the taskbar has been moved to the top. We do have our custom our, uh, cursor. That also has little animations. And now we're on a desktop. So we have these widgets right here, which are completely customizable. They also have, you can also close them if you don't want them. So this one right here, is just going to open up like documents by clicking on it. And like I said, and this one's a uh, screen brightness. Obviously for me, I have a desktop computer, so screen brightness is kind of useless. So for me, I can right click it and click close the ones that I don't want. And that kind of cleans up the desktop a bit. So I can just drag these around and place them where I want. For the weather one, if you want that to work properly, just right click it and click change location. Type in wherever you live. Just the city should be fine. And then click OK. Boom. Tells your weather. And like I said, if you want to close that, you can close that too. Along with the widgets, comes with uh, Rocket Dock, which is a Mac dock, but they theme it for you. So it kind of comes with these Android icons and the Android back look to it. When you open up Explorer, we have the back buttons of an Android. We have the closing purple buttons here, and we have the custom icons when we go throughout. I personally love these icons. Um, they're one of my favorite sets. When you click on stuff, you can see that our icon right here, our cursor has a little special effect right now when you go over stuff. And then if you go to the system properties, um, our Windows logo has been changed to the Android Jelly Bean logo. And our control panel, we have some more custom icons. Last thing I'm going to show you guys is our custom start orb with our custom um, start menu. 
Now, if you have some icons that don't change, what you can do is click the refresh icon catch. By clicking that, it's going to refresh your icons throughout the whole system and it should um, fix any icons that don't instantly switch over. Now, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Like I said, it's a pretty simple install. They're a pretty cool look, and uh, it's definitely something you can take a look at. Now, when you get tired of this look, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of all of it at once. The best way to do this is go to your control panel, click uninstall program. And right here it says Jelly Bean. Just double click that. Click yes. It's going to bring up the exact same um, installation file. It's the opposite to uninstall it. And then you can go ahead and uninstall. So just click them all. Click uninstall. It'll do that for you. And that is it. Have a reboot and you're done. Anyways guys, that is about it for this video. Hope you guys did like the video. Please let me know how uh, the screen quality is on your computer. Obviously I will look at it myself too. But let me know how the quality of this video is. And obviously if you like the theme or not. Anyways guys, that is about it for this video. See you guys in my next video and have a great day. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I am signing off.